it's time now to meet the players. Firstly, an 11 time champion of the world, Rianne Evans, and her opponent, the 10 time ranking event winner, the whirlwind, Jimmy White. Well, I've heard this build as Snooker's Battle of the Sexes, but it doesn't really bear comparison with the Bobby Riggs. Billie Jean King tennis match which uh, came about because Bobby Riggs ran his mouth off. You won't hear Jimmy White doing that, he's a friend of Rianne's, they played on the exhibition circuit together, there's a lot of respect there. And it's a fascinating matchup. No woman has won a match on television in a ranking event, which the shootout is. Rianne, you've won the whack, it's your choice. She's been Jimmy invited into it along with another female player, Emma Parker, who'll be playing tomorrow. Jimmy White has not had the best record, actually, in this event. He's only reached the last 32 on two occasions. Yeah, this is uh, the match we've all been waiting for. It's, the, by some margin, the match of the round. But Jimmy, I'm afraid, has, has done that break-off where the red goes up the table. Uh, you don't really want to give any opponent for a shot. One. This is an eagerly anticipated clash. In the television, for anyone watching at home, but the people that are here. And if you've not seen anything in Rianne Evans play, trust me, she's a very decent player. Six. And as she said, she's grown up playing in, in pubs in the West Midlands. This sort of atmosphere is certainly not going to intimidate her. To play that with a trace of left hand side to straighten the angle. Yes, I mean, she has actually beaten players in the World Championship. She beat uh, Robin Hull, who's a former shootout winner, actually, uh, in the World Championships a couple of seasons ago. But, uh, Jimmy White was just, uh, just blase there, wasn't he? Of course he's going to go in. Jimmy White, now the circuit's oldest professional, at the Six. age of 56. But still, his love for the sport remains undimmed. Seven. It's gone wrong. It's unbelievably unlucky, isn't it, Three to ball. finish on top of it like that? It's a more difficult shot. Played it well. Lost the cue ball of touch, but it's OK. 30. He's almost got the Steve Davis 1985 black here on this red. It's almost the same shot. Steve overcut his. We've never heard the last of it since. Jimmy White's the only player from that era still going on the circuit. A lot of players in, as you can see, watching this one. A bit betwixt here. He nice. has, isn't he? Just, I think, enough to get on that red. Well, this is a good start. Now, let's be honest, Jimmy White is under it here. He's been on about it for about two weeks, pretending he doesn't care. But I don't believe the more he protests, the less I believe him. A tough game for him tonight. 27. Well, it'll make headlines, won't it, if Rianne Evans does win. A player many will remember from years ago, Alison Fisher, who was world champion, who played in quite a few televised matches, not in ranking events, but matchroom league she beat various players including yourself neil correct it was absolutely devastated but she's a fine player she beat tony drago and mike hallett along the way also did allison it wasn't only me just to put that out there <laughs> yeah she went off to the us to play pool there's more money in it rian has always stayed loyal to snooker where she's won 11 world titles. Oh, what a pot. Fabulous pot. Yes, bizarrely, and On Yi is the current world champion. On Yi is one, the lady from Hong Kong, has won three of the last four world titles. Well, she's a great effort, but I actually still believe that Rianne is the best lady player there's Eight. ever been. 
There are a few others that might fit that bill, but I do believe she's up there. In an era when you know women's snooker doesn't quite get the eight. credit it deserves. It's not strong in depth, but she's very good. Well, it's what she and Emma Parker were saying before the tournament. The best chance to get more girls to participate in snooker is to get them to see female players actually playing. And this is an opportunity here. Yeah, an opportunity, Dave, to get in behind the yellow and brown on this safety shot. That could be the kind of shot which could win her a match. Has it got the speed? That's where she's played in behind. Not quite got there. Foul. Ooh. Ooh, a foul's been called. Interesting. I didn't see it. Jimmy, I don't know what he thinks about it. I... Jimmy's always called fouls on himself all his career. The most honest people I've ever known. And uh, there was a slightly strange sound, I have to say. Now in operation. Oh, no, miscue. Wow. Three elements one. Well, the match is delivering, isn't it? On the hype. What a chance that was, goodness me. That must have been close to being a foul as well. Don't think the cue ball jumped over the top of it, not quite. In which case, it would have been a foul. Oh, I don't know. I think that might have been a foul as well. I can stand corrected on that rule. Not a referee. I wouldn't want to be. Not, not, not an easy job. Eight points in it. Four minutes to go. There is the referee, Rob Spencer. He's had a few calls to make tonight, hasn't he? A bit nervy, isn't it? It's on a knife edge, actually. I don't know what goes. Whether there's a, maybe a red through the gap, which pots here. Yeah, that red goes. It's a very nice shot from Jimmy White. Seen quite a bit of Jimmy White practicing what? in Germany. I watched him for a few days. Playing a few frames with Andy Goldson. He's a decent little player himself. And he still can play. You know, he made a 147. He made a series of big breaks. He's still got Six. it. But like anything else, it's quite nervy when you're out there. He can't beat the thrill of competition in front of a big crowd. Got himself 14 in front. Still th three minutes left, though. Jimmy White six. Caught that much too thick. Now here, Jimmy White, I think, has got a shot to try and nestle in behind brown or yellow, get the cue ball in that area. Not quite, but it's still a good shot. It's only 14 in front. I said earlier on that Jimmy White has always been an entertainer, not someone that wants to just hide behind a lead, but it's not a bad idea to do it now. The red just came away from the pocket. That was a bit of a rush job, that shot. It sounded like a miscue to me. It didn't sound great, did it? Chance then for Rian Evans. One. Well, she was always confident about that one. I must say, less so after that jaw, but so, it went nervy. Yeah, how confident is Jimmy at the minute? Seven points in it. Jimmy White, the man in front. Well, that'll help. He's at the table and he's a few in front.
14 points. Seven. It's a slender lead, but it, Rianne is not at the table. That's the problem. He's got to find a way of getting back to the table. Thank you. That means Jimmy White has somehow got to miss one. Eight. Yeah, and it's going to be an awkward table if she does get back to it. I think he's probably in the clear now, to, much to his relief. 14. Just a little look at the clock. 25 seconds is not going to be enough time for Rhian Evans. 21. She did have chances. Jimmy White, 21. But Jimmy White is the winner. Yeah, it was a nervy match that, but Jimmy White has put himself into the second round of the shootout.